This topic proportions that we are going to do in this video is very much related to ratios. Actually, it's all about ratios when you talk of proportions. So let us assume that you have two ratios given to you. A is to B and C is to D. Now when I say that these two ratios are in proportional, it actually means that the first ratio is equal to the second ratio. So a proportion signifies nothing but the equality of ratios. So these two ratios are in proportion so as their terms. So I can say that their terms as well are in proportion. So A is the first proportional, B is the second proportional, C is the third and D is the fourth proportional. Now let me show you how do you write proportions. So we have the first ratio A is to B, we write it like this, is proportionate to, so we have two colons, the other ratio, so C is to D. So this is how you write proportions. Now let us look at the terminology that is related to proportions. These terms A and D are basically called extremes and the terms which are inside B and C are the mean terms. So remember this terminology and a property which is the product of extremes is equal to the product of means. So A times D is equals to B times C. So this is basically the same thing. If you move this B to the left and D to the right, you get A by B which is equals to C by D. And this is nothing but a proportion. So the product of extremes is equal to the product of means. You have to remember this property. With this, let us solve this problem. If 1 is to 2, 3 is to x are in proportion, find the value of x. The ratio 1 is to 2 is in proportion with the ratio 3 is to x. And when I say that these two ratios are in proportion, I can say that these two ratios are equal. So 1 by 2 is equal to 3 by x. Therefore, x is equal to 3 times 2, which is 6. So the value of x is 6. Let us solve one more problem. The cost of 4 apples is $20. What is the cost of 6 apples? Now this might seem tricky, but it's not. There are only two things given in this question. One is the number of apples, another is the cost. And I can say that the ratio of number of apples is proportionate to the ratio of the costs. So we have the number of apples as 4 and another number of apples that is 6. So 4 by 6 which is the ratio of number of apples is proportionate to the ratio of the cost. So 4 apples cost $20. So we have 20 here divided by let's say the cost is x. So therefore x is equals to 20 times 6 by 4. So it is 5 times 6 which is 30. So $30 is the cost of 6 apples. I can also say that the ratio of the number of apples to cost is proportionate to the ratio of another number of apples to their cost. So we have one ratio of the number of apples to cost which is 4 by 20. It is proportionate to another ratio of the number of apples to cost. So 6 by let's say it is x. Therefore x is equal to 6 times 20 by 4. So again x is equal to $30. So this is how you solve questions related to proportion.